What's going on? Thanks for stopping by my channel. And today I have another wax comparison video. I'm going to compare Formula One Carnuba Paste Wax versus Meguiar's Cleaner Paste Wax. So the car has been washed, clayed, wiped, and wiped down with isopropyl alcohol. And the middle is a median that has nothing on it. It's bare, it's clean, so it's ready to get ready to roll with our water test in a second. So I applied both waxes like I normally do, straight lines, I don't like to do the circles. Um, the wax is dry, do the finger test, so it's ready to buff off. I use separate towels, and right here in my hand I have a Rag Company workhorse towel. They're only a dollar, they're amazing for only a dollar because they don't have an edge on it. They're thin, I like them for um, buffing off wax because the for some reason the thicker towels seem to collect the wax a little too much and then uh, it just doesn't work as well. These are better finishing towels. So I'm gonna put that over there for the water test. Same with this wax. And yep, again just wow yeah. The so a couple things. So the Meguiar dries quicker. It doesn't. Sm it smells like coconut, so it's a cleaner smell, I think, which I prefer. The Formula One paste wax has a chemical smell to it, which I'm not a big fan of. I don't know why you would want to smell a chemical paste wax. So that that gets me like so that. Eh. But the Meguiar's is seven dollars, and the Formula One paste wax is about five bucks. So it is a two dollar price difference. So the goal is to see is that is the Meguiar is really worth two more dollars than the Formula One paste wax. Which if you're thinking about bang for buck, probably not. What the Meguiar's would have to do is the Meguiar's would have to last a good chunk longer than the Formula One paste wax in my eyes. Also, the Formula One paste wax, no, I mean the Meguiar's paste wax. What I just noticed when I was buffing this off has a lot more dust to it. It seems to be a drier wax. The wax seems to dust a little bit more when it dries. That can all really be avoided by wiping it off sooner. Sometimes not. I mean, the Meguiar's uh, gold class wax, that stuff is terrible with uh, dusting. Like you will wax it and then you go to dust it off and then you end up with like, it's just terrible. You're wiping like the car down like three or four times after you wipe it off so it's like kind of like I thought I just waxed it like why am I doing more work that's the whole problem with uh, waxing is you want to do the least amount of work as possible in my eyes I mean I don't I love washing and detailing I like I like cleaning cars I'm OCD. I love doing it but again you gotta be efficient efficiency 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 is key in my eyes whether you're getting paid to do it if you're doing it on your own just because it's your car all of that matters because yeah, I love my car, but I also like, I like driving it a little bit more <laughs> than I do cleaning it. So, you know, you don't want to be sitting there cleaning it all day long on end. And that's the other thing. You want a wax that's going to last. So when you're looking at a 5 or $7 wax, you're looking at something realistically, I mean dead serious, that's probably going to get you a month or two out of it at the most. Don't think this wax is going to last you a year. Well, I, I mean, the Formula 1 Pace Wax, I think it says it's good for a year. Which, that's, cr that's crazy. It's not going to be there any here. Um, but I did the Meguiar's Ultimate Paste Wax. I did that all over this car back in September. And it's amazing how long it lasted. I was shocked because I was like, oh, it's a wax. It's a black car. It's going to get too hot. We're in Virginia. So in September, it was like 90 degrees. It was getting baked. So, right? So I was like, oh, no way. This, like, that, that's going to still be there. Well, it's not. On the hood, on the roof, and the trunk, it was gone. Side panels, though, they don't take as much heat. And as uh, much abuse from like you know the rain on the top and stuff, amazing how long it's lasted. I was washing this today to do this video, and the panels were just running right off. I'm like, I'm like that's what you want. Like it wasn't like it was day one I applied it, but still, if you can get to where it's still running off after, that's that's where you want to be. So in my eyes, though, that's a twenty-five dollar wax though. So. If I can get a $5 wax to last me a month, I'd have to get 
the Maguire's ultimate pace wax the last five months to be to to make it work in a way that makes financial sense. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the water test. So this side right here was a Formula One paste wax, and the uh, passenger side was the Meguiar's cleaner wax. Put on shower mode. Go at it. Alright, I'm going to shut the water off real quick. So, what I noticed right off, right off the bat, just to begin with, the Meguiar's has tighter beading. The beading that it has, the beads, are a lot tighter. The clumps of water, I mean that's what a bead is, the clump of water on the car, is a lot tighter than it is on the Formula One paste wax. And that's what I want to see, because when I saw the Meguiar's Ultimate Paste Wax, the $25 wax, the beads on that were so tight. And now, yes, when I went to wash the car, did I see those beads again as much? No. What I saw, though, was the sheeting. To me, you see beading first, and then as the wax goes down, you see sheeting. That's my personal opinion. That's what I've experienced. I think that you get beads I want to see beads first because then later on as the wax digresses, I get sheeting. And it makes sense because the beads are what you see now. Fresh wax, tight, perfect. On my coating on my car, I have tight beadings, beads on my uh, Sonic, which is plastic dips. I haven't, uh, I haven't washed that in, ever. It's plastic. But off tangent real quick. You want to see beading first because in the end you'll get the sheeting as the wax digresses. So, and then when you don't see any water come off, that's when you know there's no wax left. So, that's how I knew the roof didn't have wax, that's how I knew the hood didn't have wax, that's how I knew the roof didn't have wax, and that's how I know the trunk didn't have wax. Because nothing was nothing was moving. <laughs> it was just like, I was like, oh God, there's that's all water, so it was bad. And that's the other thing, the more, like, wax isn't just about protecting the paint, it's making it easier to clean it later washing this car when every single panel is trapped in water the time taken to clean that is insane because first off nothing's running off so when I go to rinse it down you know just nothing's coming the dirt's not gonna move as fast off the paint and then drying it is just a pain in the butt so a little again off tangent again the Meguiar's quick wax beats the Formula One paste wax. In my eyes, the two bucks is worth it because I think I can get two months out of this versus that, which I'll probably only get a m I don't see that lasting a lot longer than two weeks. Um, I just don't see it. I like the beating I see on the Meguiar's. So on this head-to-head -to -head today, I'm going to go with the Meguiar's cleaner wax. So if you like this video, you like my channel, please subscribe. The thing is right there in the corner. Um... Yeah, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Have a great day, y'all.